Right, good evening, everyone. Um, I just want to start today by asking one question. Has anyone ever felt a worry for tomorrow's youth? Yeah, raise your hand. Okay, and does anyone here in the audience actually know a young person that's disengaged, that could be disengaged from education, disengaged from the people around them, or just disengaged from everyday life? Okay, thank you. So the reason that this disengagement comes about is down to one key question. And that's a question that I asked myself when I was 13. That question was, how can I become someone in life that's successful? You see, when I asked myself this question, I realized that I wasn't doing well in school. And I realized that I wasn't going to become successful by means of education for the fact that I couldn't sit still and I couldn't write or even just listen to the teachers to learn. I wasn't naturally gifted at sports. I had two left feet, so I wasn't going to be the next Lionel Messi. So when I started really and truly thinking about it, that's when I realized, hold on a minute, how am I really going to become successful? Then at that point, I got a feeling of uncertainty and doubt. As, I, as this feeling started developing, I started getting emotions that, that started hurting me, emotions like anxiety, frustration, and slight hopelessness, to the point that I needed to find something what I could really and truly believe that I could become successful in. As I started looking around for that thing that would make me successful, the only references I had was crime. Do You see, I grew up in Tottenham, North London, in a, in a council state called Tiverton. And the people that were my role models were the drug dealers. They were the people with the cars, they were the people with the money, and they were the people that had the hottest girlfriends. So, I naturally look up to them and thought, well, this is the most realistic way for me to become successful. After I realised that I wasn't doing well in school, I really and truly disengaged from education altogether, and I just started getting involved in criminal activities. I sold drugs, and I'm sorry to say, but I did rob people. I did anything I could do to get money, because that's what I thought being successful was. Fast forward, and then I'm 19 years old, and I've realised, hold on a second, I'm not successful. Yes, I've made money, but the threat of violence from all the conflicts that I made in the street was real. The fact that I had ongoing court cases, incarceration was a reality, was also weighing on me. But the real impacting moment was the birth of my daughter. And that's when I realised, hold on a second, I generally need to be successful. <coughs> I one day went to visit my solicitor to talk about the case. And he said, look, you're looking at incarceration and he's looking at seven years. At that point, it all weighed on me. All the consequences of everything I've been doing, it really drove me to understand that I had to change. So I went to visit my brother. And I'll be honest, that was one of the first times in many years that I cried because I honestly felt totally, totally hopeless. I was so confused, so frustrated, and I was just angry. My brother at that point gave me a suggestion. He said, listen, you're into violence. You're an active guy. You carry weapons with you every single day. Go to the army. They'll give you a rifle. Go and fight the Taliban. It's legal. And you get paid. So as, as the weeks went on and my court case came closer, I thought, you know what? I've got nothing to lose. At that point, I went to the army. And I turned up at <coughs> office and I said, yes. I actually want to be a soldier. He said, what kind of soldier? I said, any. Just get me in now. <laughs> at that point... The guy laughed and he said, you're one of those, aren't you? And I said, yes, I am. He goes, okay, two months infantry, go. I turned up one day at the Cates of Catterick. That's the infantry <laughs> training centre. And needless to say, I struggled for the first two years because the values and my beliefs from the street were the total opposite of what the army is about. It was the first time in my life that I had to face up to my failures. I had to face up to my challenges and I couldn't get away from it. Because it wasn't about my livelihood, but also about my family's livelihood. You see, as I started beating these challenges and I started overcoming them, 
I started learning the true values. I started learning the true mentality and more importantly, the right mindset to be successful. Off the back of that, that's where I have now come to create this program that I work with young people on. This program is designed to teach pe young people like myself who are disengaged, who are lost, how to find success, but the real way, not the way they're seen on the social medias and on the local area. Okay? I'm here today to share this program with all of you, but more importantly, to share with one people that you may know that might need this program. Thank you for listening. <coughs>